Ladies and gentlemen, I'm opposed to jailing or imprisoning any reporter or writer. I think that is not a good thing. I do, however, believe that the way that Trump communicates oftentimes is he knows who the person is, and so he'll say something that is over the top. I do. I think that he knows the person, or he has a number of people that he, he knows that there could be a number of people associated with a specific person at a publication who could have leaked the Supreme Court Dobbs decision. Okay. If the, the, the leak, here's the difference between the Democratic National Committee emails and a writer that, um, unveils or releases information about a Supreme Court decision. One is purely political in nature. The other, the Democratic National Committee emails, was not a political uh, stunt that showed that Bernie Sanders was being railroaded. It was not a fair and neutral primary and that Democrats were lying about their primary and still taking funds and fundraising and campaign donations. That same those same publishers and uh, Assange should be free. The same person, the, the, the writers and publishers that revealed the Democratic National Committee emails also revealed detrimental information to the Bush administration. So the Republicans also, as well as the Democrats, had illegal or criminal activity um, told to the public. Okay, very different from giving the Democratic Party and activists and political action committees and media advanced knowledge of a Supreme Court decision to intimidate and possibly put a person like Kavanaugh's life at risk. Very different. One's purely political. Like for impeachment, for example, there were government officials who came out against Trump in 2019, we think that he's trying to pressure another country. By the way, invaded under Biden's watch, interestingly enough. But pressuring another country to investigate Biden is not a crime. Okay. But there were criminal activities that are... When, when somebody blows the whistle and, you know, releases information, they should be... There are laws protecting that type of individual if they're exposing a criminal act, okay? So, or if they're exposing blatant corruption. So the Supreme Court didn't lie to anybody. They were just doing what they do as the Supreme Court, deciding on um, the Constitution, uh, the whether or not something is constitutional, whether or not a law is constitutional, okay? That's what the Supreme Court does to... Um, reveal what they're deliberating is uh, a political stunt aimed at intimidating, conserv in this case, conservative justices. One, so it, it, it's, it's a great story for Politico. It was a wonderful story, but it was a political, it was a political, you know, stunt in nature. Um, again, I am against... I am absolutely against, you know, intimidating or jailing any writer or journalist or, um, you know, uh, reporter. I think that, you know, writers at Politico should be protected. I don't think that, I mean, I, I disagree with pre former President Trump. I think that he was wrong to do that. But I think that he's found out who... Um, I think that he found out who the, the person is or who, who leaked the information. I think that he's a lot smarter. I have no knowledge. I have no evidence. I don't know who leaked the information. I have no clue. But I think that he's a lot smarter than people say, than, than people think. I think Trump already knows um, either from the grapevine or because, you know, he does have, as a former president, um, a great deal more intelligence and you can use that word, like, you know, intelligence in terms of agencies, a great deal more intel than people think. So independent Trump demands to jail Supreme Court leak reporter to get condemned as appalling by press. Okay, so freedom. Okay, 
CNN Supreme Court issues re- a report on Dobbs leak, but says it hasn't identified the leaker. Insider Trump calls for politi- political journalists to be jailed over Dobbs. Abo- okay, so I'm against that, but I don't think he he knows that it's not possible. But I think he also is. I think he also probably knows who it could be, who it is, or who uh, the number of people that it could be. Okay, you're talking about people who worked for conservative justices. This isn't rocket science, okay? He probably knows the people who worked for, who worked for you know, uh, Kavanaugh or Amy Coney Barrett. Um, it's not difficult to find out. So it's not, it's, it's obviously one of those people who worked for a conservative Supreme Court justice, or it could be a liberal, who knows? I don't know. Okay, I'm just thinking out loud. It's, by the way, Democrat, Republican, doesn't matter who you are, Green Party, um, you know, uh, you know, supporter of Trump, voting for Trump like I am. Uh, I support Trump because I want record low poverty. We had record low poverty in 2019. We did not have a never-ending quagmire in Europe. And Trump does not revere these sacred cows, both internationally and in terms of domestic politics. And I love that. But you have a lot of public relations stunts and, and, and you know, these, these political jobs. But anyway, hit subscribe to this channel. I'll get to that in a second. I mean, leaking the decision was aimed at intimidating Supreme Court justices, okay? That's what that was about. The Democratic National Committee emails was not about intimidating anybody. It was about revealing the truth. And I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post, and the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. Okay, For people who don't understand how you could become a voter of Trump, that's because you're, th- th- that person would be ignorant of politics and the common theme between Bernie Sanders and Trump, which there's a direct link in terms of populist foreign policy and domestic policy, the difference between both of them being that Trump actually implemented a populist foreign policy and economic policy, and it worked. Bernie was completely railroaded and cheated and said nothing. It's a big difference. But anyway, and then he blamed Russia. So hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen, every day, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Uh, check out the segment I have on Matt Gates and $75 billion in budget cuts, defense spending cuts. I'm going to try to uh, do you know more segments that you enjoy. I thought the Alec Baldwin uh, story was compelling. I still do think that it is a paradigm change in American politics and society for a number of reasons. Um, nobody seemed to really enjoy it, but I think it. I think that, as I was saying for a long time, involuntary manslaughter, he will get for a number of reasons. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and definitely do a lot more on Congress And a lot more that interests um, a lot of the newer subscribers. Hit subscribe. Thank you for subbing. 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. I'm I'm doing it a little bit earlier, about 7.45 and 10.45. I'm going to check out that time zone. I think it might be better. And uh, 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. on H.A. Goodman's other channel. So check that out today. Become a member of H.A. Goodman and also... um, to my Patreon, my new Patreons, thank you so very, very much. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. I, I tell you, you support it. I don't have $20 million in venture capital funding. I don't even have sponsors for this channel. I should probably get a sponsor, but one of these days I probably will. Um, <laughs> but I am just viewer sponsored with you and Patreon. The uh, super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. And Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications, and become part of a newsletter there. Ladies and gentlemen, Trump almost certainly knows who leaked the uh, the Politico story. And like I said, I'm against... I, I it's, not even, it's not even possible. I don't believe he broke a law. He or she broke a law. Um... I do think that Assange should be free. Okay, so the people defending Politico, and they should, should also defend a man who should not be imprisoned. Okay, Uh, that's obvious. You know, it's interesting. After the DNC emails, you have this distorted, sinister, uh, 
altering or d- distorted definition of what a person who blows the whistle or what a, you know, a person who reveals the truth. Okay. Coming out against Trump is not doing society or the world any favors. You're, it's a political job or motive. Okay. Democrats thought the, the, the DNC emails were political in nature because it hurt them because it exposed the truth, just like the Twitter files are supposed to be political in nature. But the epicenter of corruption happens to be more in the Democratic Party than anywhere else. They have the most power now. Before it was the Republican Party 20 years ago, they had the most influence and power. The Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld people just ran the country into the ground, and in terms of foreign policy, were an absolute catastrophe, even worse than today's Democrats, which are an absolute failure in so many levels. And actually, you had Biden and other Democrats, Kerry, voting for the same failed policies, foreign policy, and never-ending counterinsurgency conflicts as Republicans. But anyway, that's why they're two sides of the same coin. That's why it's a moral imperative to vote for Trump. They're two sides of the same coin. Trump is different. He's better for the country and the world, even though the morally superior will yell at the top of their lungs to say otherwise. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Now, these are huge stories today, ladies and gentlemen. The budget cuts from Matt Gates, and also uh, this thing with Trump and, and the Supreme Court leaker. Thank you. Uh, hit sub- I'll be back in a couple of hours.